Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you for thank you for joining us for another episode of How to Draw Anything. My name is Debbie, and I work for San Mateo County Libraries, and usually I work for the Millbury Library. We also have. My name is Lynn. I work for the San Mateo County Libraries as well. You may recognize my face from the Belmont branch or from all the various art streams that we've been doing. And today we have a special guest with us. You may recognize his face from some of his own programs he's been doing. Hello, my name is Kenny. Um, I also work at San Mateo County Libraries. Uh, you can usually find me at the East Palo Alto Library. Um, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can find me right here doing music playtime <laughs> with my guitar. Hey, They've been very fun. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Kenny. Thanks for having me again. So, and this, uh, just as a reminder, you know, Kenny's program is tomorrow morning and, 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 um, and you know, on Tuesdays as well, every week. Um, check the whole schedule at smcl.org. There's so many programs that go on every single week. Even later on today, just at three o'clock, we have Open Labs with Ricardo. And he today he's going to be talking about chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. um, I guess part one, huh? Uh, later on today at 3.30, we have Toddler Sing Along Jam with Ashley. And then later on tonight, we have Family Storytime with Michelle. So don't miss all that stuff. The whole schedule is at smcl.org. Um, and just as another reminder that um, if you haven't done your census, again, it's still not too late. You want to go to my2020census.gov, um, fill out that form. It doesn't take that long, you know, five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kenny's got a better one. <laughs> this is much more legible than mine. Um, and uh, yeah, fill out that census, uh, get yourself counted, get funding um, that's important in our communities. Awesome. <laughs> All right. All right. But in the meantime, we should have a couple drawing games lined up today. Yes. Is that right? You guys ready? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Everybody in the audience ready? <laughs> um, yeah. So what we, uh, everybody in the audience, you know, you can grab a piece of paper. You can grab your sketchbook, whatever you got. Um, grab some pens and pencils, markers any of those crayons whatever you got and let's get starting uh, to draw so as usual i'm going to be using my ipad to draw today so that you can see my um my uh, what i'm working on so i'm going to just share my screen and you should be able to see my screen hooray how to draw Yay. anything <laughs> Yay. Yay. okay so First game we always like to start out with is just like kind of our doodle game. We're gonna start with our pencils. So everybody grab your pencils. And we're going to just um, start doodling some random shapes. So let's do some random shapes. Hmm. Hmm. I usually do roundy shapes. Maybe I should not do such roundy shapes. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Again, it looks like a face. <laughs> just those three. I a lot tend of to these do tend that. to feel like faces. <laughs> I can see like a jack-o'-lantern or something. Already. <laughs> but we're going to focus on each individual shape and we're going to see if we can see anything within these shapes and make it into something cool or exciting. Maybe not so cool. <laughs> So does any, is anybody inspired by any of these shapes so far? Do you see anything, anything inspired? I see a gingerbread person on the Ooh. left, top left. Mm -hmm. Oh, gingerbread. Maybe a cookie. Yeah. yeah. And are the, uh, are these the legs here? Yep. I see it too now. Maybe the runaway gingerbread man. Exactly. See. Escape from the oven, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a kid's story or a song or something? Probably. <laughs> Oops. Maybe I should give this cookie out of the neck. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, <laughs> don't eat me. Let's see. Doesn't usually have those like 
Ooh, it, it almost looks like, like uh, it, maybe if we, like it was someone bit into it and then oh. ran away. <laughs> oh, that's no. a good idea. <laughs> no wonder he's unhappy. Chomp. Oh, no. no. Poor, poor gingerbread man. No. <laughs> he did not sign up for this life. <laughs> I was just born out of the oven. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay, how about, does anybody see anything in this shape here? I'm not seeing it yet. Oh. <laughs> this was kind of weird, huh? It's interesting. <laughs> I see, I see a little something. Should I go with it? Yeah, I'm curious what you're can, seeing. I see like a nose here and then it's like a person wearing a hat like ah. hold on uh, let me see if i can oh, yeah it do almost this. looks like those like is it the lumberjack no it was kind of actually that's not a good one either i was thinking the ones are like the ear flaps <laughs> kind of i don't know if i can draw this hat i see it in my head mm-hmm <laughs> It's like one of those big kind of floppy hats. Ah, okay, okay. And then uh, the mouth is kind of, I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> you kind of see it now? I'm starting to. They have a really interesting face shape. I like it. Yeah. Reminds me of like like Tintin or something. Like a <laughs> Tintin. Oh, really? Let's see. That's, I think I'm not drawing the hat right. <laughs> Let's see. It's like a brimmed hat. And it's mm -hmm. kind of floppy. Kind of has a little, not a pom-pom on it, but... <gasps> Is it almost like a beret, but with like a stronger brim? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Big old floppy hat, knit hat. Okay. Very cozy. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a friend, I got a friend named Scotty P. Looks just like that. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell Scotty P. Watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I just drew it. Okay. How about this next shape? I kind of keep going back and forth between a mountain range and teeth. Ooh. Hmm. It's like negative space. Which way should I go? Can mm -hmm. you see anything? I see the mountain range for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what I can develop. Something fun out of a mountain range. Mm -hmm. It's a snow cap, snow cap mountain range. I guess I could just make it. That's it. <laughs> it's just a mountain range. <laughs> Maybe there's like a hidden Yeti in there or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about a not so hidden Yeti? <laughs> <laughs> His hands are there. This is a very large. Yeti. <laughs> or very small. Or, caps. Yeah. <laughs> very small mountain range. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Let's see. How do you draw Yeti? <laughs> I don't know what? how to draw. I don't know how to draw Yeti. It's very Yeti to me. Okay. It looks a little bit like he just got woken up and is not happy about it. That's true. But hibernation ended a little too early for him. <sighs> Who disturbs my slumber? <sighs> <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. 
Okay, well, we drew. I think we were stumped at first with some of the shapes. At least I was. You gave some interesting ones today. Yeah, for some reason, they were like kind of hard to see something. I gave, mm -hmm. I, I made it really extra random today. But we drew a half bitten gingerbread man, a person with a floppy hat, and a very large Yeti or very small mountains. <laughs> We'll, we'll have to decide. <laughs> All right, which one do we want to kind of develop a little bit more? Does anybody have a preference? We can like make a little polish it up with some pen work and some colors. Which one do we want to work on a little bit? I kind of like the Yeti. <laughs> I'm partial to the Yeti too. Say, yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if everybody has finished some of their pencil drawings, you can grab your pen um, and then we're going to kind of just clean up this drawing a little bit more. So I'm going to grab my digital pen and I'm going to just like take a look at my pencils and kind of use those pencils as um, guidelines for the actual drawing. Like when I look at this Yeti, it's not quite how I uh, really envision it, but I'm going to try to fix it as I go. Whoops, that's not the pen I want. Okay, hold on one second. Did they change the app on us? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Looks like they updated it with some new pens. Okay. Mm, that's fun. I know, right? Okay, so here's the Yeti's hand that is like kind of grabbing onto the mountains. And Yeti maybe has like bed head <laughs> like, oh, I just woke up. I do like how fluffy it is. <laughs> and I kind of stick with these eyes. I like the unibrow. Mm -hmm. Make the nose a little bit cleaner. Maybe I'll give him a little snaggle tooth. Oh. <laughs> All right. And I'll just draw the rest of the mountains for the scale. Anything else you guys want to add to this drawing as you as you're looking at it right now? I'm thinking of like a thought bubble. I would, okay. be, I would be going in on in, in Yeti's mind right now. Oh, that's a good question. And so what's he thinking, Kenny? Well, I like to, if you're running with the just got woken up uh, mm -hmm. too early. Mm -hmm. Too early. <laughs> well, maybe. That's good. Okay. I'm, and also thinking about like what woke it up, right? Is oh, yeah. Loud. Oh, yeah. Thing or... I was also kind of thinking if he's just woken up, the first thing he might want is something to eat Ooh. or maybe coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what do Yetis put in their coffee, you think? Oh. <laughs> yeah, what do Yetis put in their coffee? <laughs> How did they even get coffee? <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> I would imagine pretty, no sugar, just straight up coffee. Okay, just cleaned up the pencils. I erased all the pencils. So I can see the drawing a little bit better now. So I'm gonna kind of shut off this layer for now. And then we're gonna, what did you say, too early? Mm -hmm. Oops. Maybe. <laughs> when I, I don't like it. It's going here. That's better. Nice. Then some bags under his eyes because no. he's extra sleepy and grumpy. Oh. No. Okay. I think we're ready to color. 
Mm-hmm. What, what, what color do you think the Yeti is? I'm gonna I'm gonna color the mountains while you guys think about it. The goatee was white. Oh yeah, huh? Because of the snow. That's true. Ah, you know, never seen a pink yeti. We can go. Oh, that's pink. yeah, that's very true. Can we do it? I mean, I've never technically seen a yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you can't prove whether or not it's pink. <laughs> hundred, yes, hundred percent for sure. Good point. And since it's so big, well, I think it's so big. <laughs> well, yo, no, now we have trees for uh, perspective, no? They could be small trees. <laughs> <laughs> They're baby trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll go with it's big. We'll, we'll go with the Yeti is big. But uh, but since it's so big, it's not like it has to be inconspicuous, right? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> That's true. we can just make it super conspicuous here. <laughs> Oops, I colored in this too. It almost still blends in with the mountains since they're purple. (laughs) Almost. (laughs) Enough that you do like a double take. (laughs) It's like, what a weird hairy pink mountain. Oh, wait. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) All right. I think we're just about done. (laughs) <laughs> Just get that wood in there. Cool. Look at our Yeti. I'm gonna do a little bit of shading. Mm, getting fancy. <laughs> a little messy shading. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay. Awesome job. Final step, though. We're not done. We just made a really cool character. I think this character needs a name, right? Mm -hmm. So should we brainstorm some names together? Throw out some words and then maybe we'll figure out a name. Let's see. Um... I want it to be like something the Yeti. Oh, (laughs) something. Oh, like some rhyming. Yeah, like that's my instinct, but I don't know what words would work. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> Let me just write it down. Kind of looks like a marshmallow. Oh. oh. Pink makes me think of like strawberries or something. I'm still trying to think of things that like loosely rhyme as well. <laughs> There's gotta be more words that rhyme with you. There's gotta be. My first thought is petty because, petty. <laughs> but I don't think that really fits. It could be Betty. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Betty the very tired Yeti. No, <laughs> I like that. I like what that. do you guys think? Yeah. What do you guys think? I'm feeling Betty. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I'm also now just thinking, maybe this is just how Betty wakes up every day. Probably. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. and she's still like, it's too early. Oh, how cool. We just made a new character. Betty the very tired Yeti. Good job, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have time to play another game? Yeah. So this time I'm gonna take cues from you guys and I'm gonna see if I can draw what, kind of what you want. So, and I'm, I'll ask you some questions to kind of, um, you know, to, to get this character out. So we're gonna make a new character. Is this character gonna be an animal? a human or a monster or some kind of like inanimate object that's human or that's anthropomorphized (laughs) it's a hard word to say (laughs) it's anthropomorphized (laughs) can we do can we do robot okay Mm. okay 
Uh, I'm going to do one of these kinds of robots. Wait, I'm going to change to my pencil, sorry. Is this kind of head okay? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and what's special about this robot? Does it, um, does it have a skinny body, fat body, um, noodly body? We've done noodly before, haven't we, Lynn? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I like drawing noodly characters. <laughs> I'm going to go, uh, I'm, I'm envisioning a lot of lights and buttons. So enough space for uh, a bunch of different lights and buttons. Okay. Maybe a couple pull switches. Maybe so. Maybe a big body. Is this okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Switches and whatnot. Uh, buttons. I always like buttons. <laughs> Boop, boop, boop. I gotta make my sound effects when I... it's an important part of the process. It is. I can't make a face like a robot, so I have to make the noises like a robot. So. It gets you in the zone, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you said pull switches too? Yeah. Like, oh gosh. Let's see if I can do this. I feel like there's a lot of room for things to just go wrong for this robot with all of its like switches fully exposed. <laughs> is that is that a pull switch? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. How about the arms? Does it have arms? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I do like? <laughs> just thinking very like typical robot right now mm. and then like the super simple like claw shape <laughs> yes yes <laughs> <laughs> um oh how about his feet is it does it have like standard human -y feet or does it have like a wheels or what else? I like the wheel idea yeah, yeah. i like wheels Like one wheel? Sure. Hmm. That works. How about it doesn't, it's like magnet. It's a Ooh. magnet wheel. Ooh, it looks like it has magnet arms to, or, or hands. So maybe that's like its thing, you know? Ah. <laughs> going with it, I'm going with it. <laughs> Is it gonna have a second arm? Uh, you tell me. I feel like it should. Yes, I think so too. <laughs> it would help its balance. <laughs> Same kind of arm? Hmm. And I feel like it's either gotta be the same kind of arm or something that's completely off the rails. Like one right. nice friendly magnet arm and the other's arm's like a chainsaw. <laughs> 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 what does this robot do? Oh, wow. Whatever you need. <laughs> like the chainsaw. <laughs> oh my god. How do I, I don't know how to draw a chainsaw, Lynn. I'm um, sorry. How about a saw? Okay. Just a spinning saw. Oh, okay. Like a saw blade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> Let's see. This is a scary robot. <laughs> pretty versatile, this robot. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I get the whole? I'm trying to get I feel like it's going to need a very friendly face. Yeah, <laughs> like, just your friendly faced chainsaw wielding robot. <laughs> or maybe the hands are interchangeable. You know, since they're all magnets, it could technically put a screwdriver or a hammer in a. That's hand, true. You know? Yeah. It's a pretty slick robot. <laughs> I like the magnet idea, the mm -hmm. floating stuff. Uh, what about his face? How do we want to do a face? Now I want to make his head a little floaty too. Mm. I mean, I still like the idea of like a very cute, friendly face. <laughs> okay. I agree. Mm. Um,
big eyes. Um, how about that? Just your friendly neighborhood robot <laughs> who occasionally wields dangerous things. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tool, like, yeah, okay. So now, is this a magnet? Now I'm wondering if this is a magnet. <laughs> or is it a claw hand? I don't know. It's cute. Um, <laughs> I want it to have, like, a floating hat or something. I second that. <laughs> what kind of hat do you think? The incomplete without a hat. True, right? Mm -hmm. it's, I kind of picture it as, like, a maintenance robot. Mm. So I almost want it to be like safety first. You need your construction <laughs> helmet. Oh, I was thinking like a classic maintenance hat. I don't know. Oh, that's cute too. <laughs> I don't know. Is that right? Is, did I draw that hat right? Kind of. It looks like along the lines of the captain's hat. I'd have to like look it up to know what it actually is. But I know what you're talking about. You think? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not too good with drawing hats. Hats are hard. <laughs> they are kind of hard. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> uh, anything else? Can you have a bow tie? <gasps> yes. No, I want it to be rounded. Or should it be like a middle? That metal bow tie. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of funny. Very nice. It's very dapper, dapper mm -hmm. maintenance robot. Oh. Yes. You make it like in, in motion. Ooh, like a. It's running to the uh, the construction zone, you know. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some wigglies and squigglies. Yay! Anything else? Uh, name tag. Oh, that's very important. That means mm -hmm. we have to make a name for our friendly robot. That's yeah, true. Anybody have a name? Just keep thinking, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as a name tag's in the picture, it just makes me think of Sean. <laughs> Sean? <laughs> <laughs> because of Sean of the Dead. Hi, oh, that's Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean. Um, I'm like, brobot. <laughs> Bob bot. <laughs> Bob bot. Or bebop. Bebop? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Like bebop? Yep. Oh, I like it too. Can we keep that? I like bebop. <laughs> Ooh, can I fit it? Uh -oh. <laughs> I got it. Yes. Woo! <laughs> 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 awesome. Boop, 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 bebop. Bebop. <laughs> cute. Awesome. Eee. Good job, you guys. Hey, Kenny, are you drawing? Are you? I'm working on something. You're working on something? Okay, okay. You'll share, you share it. Can I do my share and tell? Or yeah. uh, show and tell? <laughs> um, all right. So last week uh, with Jenna, we created the character called Joe Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Flash created by Lynn, Jenna, and Debbie. <laughs> This is Joe Flash. <laughs> see. He's the fastest sloth around. <laughs> he beats Turtle. <laughs> Actually, oh. not very fast. That turtle really beat him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Joe Flash loves his coffee. Mm-hmm. Even if his coffee is always, it, it, coffee always goes cold because he's always, what did I say? He's a slow <laughs> drinker. <laughs> the poor guy. He seems content. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's my story about Joe Flash. <laughs> All right. He's so very Lynn. fast for a sloth. It's true. And nothing else. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lynn, are you ready to drop her us? Yeah. So we have an interesting lineup today. I'm curious what we're going to choose. Oh, to, this point, to draw? Yeah, we normally get to pick one of the things that we drew today, and I look up reference for it. Oh, did we? We drew all... We drew uh, fantastical things. But we did. We there was to nothing. Slightly. Oh boy. So what are we going to draw today? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to share my screen first of all, just so that's set up. Let's see. Two, one. I'm wondering what Ken is drawing. <laughs> yes, I'm very curious. <laughs> intent. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go with this canvas today. Nice. There. Okay, so. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, because we drew a Yeti in the mountains. We drew a person. Uh-huh. We drew a gingerbread man and we drew a robot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. These are things that are not really conducive for reference. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can be. It's just a little bit of a different approach because hmm. there's different things you're theoretically trying to study depending on what you want to accomplish. Mm-hmm. So we can still work with it. Okay. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys to choose which one. <laughs> oh. Uh partial to the robot okay all right so in that case were there any particular details we were trying to put in our robot friend that we were having trouble with i had a lot of trouble <laughs> no, i had trouble with like the little panel on the front and, mm-hmm. and uh just all the different buttons that that a robot might have on the front um Trying to think of a real robot. We don't even necessarily need to think of a real robot. Just okay. which details did you want to include that you found you didn't quite know how to convey what you wanted to convey? So we got the control panel and the buttons. Was there anything mm-hmm. else? Mm. I had trouble with the little saw blade. <laughs> Oh, and the hat. <laughs> ah, all right. I'm not going to try and write maintenance because I'm definitely going to do that wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So in that case, let's see what we can find if we search for those specific details and try and incorporate them back into the robot we were trying to draw. Okay. So let's do control panel first and foremost Uh-oh, it's all computer let me try and make that a little more sci-fi <laughs> <laughs> there we go Ooh, yeah there we go Ooh, i like this one immediately so i'm going to steal that one immediately not steal borrow <laughs> that was like a big button Mm-hmm. Always need to satisfying. Button. Yes, just one humongous button. Oh, I like those meter icons. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just going to take those two things for now, but we can also try and remember things we saw. Then we need a saw blade reference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's the friendliest looking saw blade? <laughs> <laughs> there. I don't know if you can. I like this one. (laughs) 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 I don't know if those two words go together. (laughs) 
Help me, Google. How do I spell maintenance? <laughs> M-E-N-T. Oh, no, M-A-I-N-T. You had it. T-E-N. Ah, maintenance. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> and then just specify it's a hat. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I was thinking. Hmm. I made it. Uh, Are you thinking more like it's almost like a conductor hat? Kind of. It seems kind of like what that. we want. It's like kind a, of like an old school maintenance hat. Like you don't actually see anyone really wearing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like more? that first one in the upper left is kind of what I was going for. Kind of. Upper left, this one? Yeah, it's kind of what I was going for. Okay. I'm going to grab a reference picture that isn't a link to an ad. <laughs> yeah. But um, we'll do let's like go with hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. So we have, I have no reference to your picture, so I'm just doing this blind yeah. based on what we saw. Look at that. <laughs> Little arms. <laughs> okay, so extremely quickly, we have the body of a friendly magnetized robot. Friendly neighborhood chainsaw robot. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you need one. I need some wood. <laughs> Mm -hmm. for your friendly fireplace you know i don't have a chainsaw at home so if i needed to cut something mm -hmm. perfect who else are you gonna call that's true Be all right <laughs> so we have now got the basis of what we're going to be drawing on we found some photos that will ideally woo <laughs> <laughs> help Lovely. us in figuring out how to draw these details we had questions on. And now we get to start to blend the two things together to create our own shiny new original drawing that's borrowing from real life elements. Cool. All right, so. Let's start off with the head and the hat. Let's see how quickly we can get this done. Yeah, because even when you're drawing fantastical things, oftentimes there's certain elements that are still based in reality that gives your picture a bit more of a grounding. So for instance, things like dragons don't exist, but you can study up on lizards if you want to give it a bit of a solid anatomy and you can also cross-reference with what other artists are doing and try and figure out like what are they basing this on are they using a cat are they using like a komodo dragon what are what is the source of how they transferred the movement into making this fantasy thing seem real and so a lot of that can come from just referencing a bunch of random things and piecemealing it together into whatever it is you want it to be so I'm going to change things slightly. I'm going to give him little dot eyes. <laughs> cool. I was wondering if we were to like do reference for the abominables or the Yeti, like mm -hmm. if we could use like some kind of other animals and stuff too, mm -hmm. and cross those together. Yeah, that's definitely one way to approach it. Because I think Yetis, um, at least in terms of the behavior are most closely likely to be high, like mistaken bears. <laughs> right. But you can also have a fun time sort of like guessing at which different parts of the mythology that someone may have been interested in when it comes to like say their own Yeti design or their own robot design. I was almost thinking like wolf. Maybe mm. it's like part wolfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so normally when I go through these reference things, I talk about like if you're having trouble just looking at it and figuring it out, 
how to draw, you can trace over it first. In this case, because we have several elements in about 20 minutes, I'm just gonna go straight into the copy freehanding and just sort of adjust angles as best I can as we go through. But yeah, for instance, I might be a little ambitious with this hat and try and angle it upward a little bit. Because in the reference picture, there's sort of three core sections, the top, the middle, and the brim. So if we divide those up and curve them the way that we want them to be, ideally, we will get the same basic hat, but now floating at an angle that makes a little more sense for the picture that we're drawing. And also just in general, hats are hard for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about the brim that like yeah, almost never translates the way you want it to without like multiple minutes of struggling. <laughs> yeah, brim always throws me off. You're doing well though. Oh, thank you. I see it. <laughs> it helps in that I have the reference picture to keep looking back at. <laughs> Do you guys remember at what point in your, in your lives you realized like, oh, I love drawing. <laughs> like, this is something that I'm really interested in. I remember. Hmm. How, how old? I was, uh, I think I was eight. I think I was in the third grade. And I, uh, I remember drawing Garfield as a kid. And uh, one time, I think like a classmate asked me to draw Garfield without like tracing. And I did, I did it. Like, I think I just copied it, you know, <laughs> similar to like what um, Lynn is doing right now, kind of using like reference mm -hmm. and just drawing Garfield without, but without tracing over it. And then, and then I, it came out pretty well. And, and my classmate was impressed and I was like, oh, I guess I can draw pretty, oh, pretty okay. And that's that's how I got hooked into drawing, I feel like. Mm. Once I drew that Garfield, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you awaken something. Yeah, yeah. That's, I have a distinct memory of that. That's awesome. I, I feel like too, especially like in, in elementary, like I remember in elementary school, like it wasn't me, but the, 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 the person in class being clearly like, oh, you're really good at drawing. And then just like cool points, like automatically. Cool. Exactly, sure. Because then it was just like, it was just like, oh, can you draw me this? Can you draw me this? Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like mine was a little more pretentious. <laughs> because story? like my sort of go-to, like I always loved just the process of drawing. Mm -hmm. Like I went to daycare for, the entirety of like elementary school. And we would go out to watch movies and things. And the first thing I would do as soon as the movie was finished was essentially draw art based on it. <laughs> but the moment where I kind of had a revelation was when I was working with a friend on making our own story together and we were designing characters. And at some point she was drawing them and I'm like, oh wait, let me do it. I can do it better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. So. <laughs> Do you remember what was like the first thing that you, that you really wanted to go home and draw? Like, what was that first? Like, you're like yes, I want to do that. I want to like, I want to figure out how to draw this. Maybe not the first thing, but something that, that like, like Debbie, you, you, you have like a really good recollection of like Garfield. Mm -hmm. Lynn, mm -hmm. do you remember? I don't remember the movie. It involved jungles. Mm. I, I'm t it was not George of the Jungle because that's the only thing I'm thinking of, but it had something to do with like lady, like there was some kind of like adventure in a jungle and I liked the lady character. Mm. And I was trying to draw like an action thing based on like that theme. Like Tarzan or something? It wasn't animated. That's oh. like, I don't think it was animated. Because oh. I had watched a lot of animated things, but it was honestly kind of the live action stuff that I first started trying to imitate. Hmm. Like it looked nothing like it, but <laughs> <laughs> it was like, those were the first times where I was actually trying to do stories and poses before I began to 
really move into being like, I want to make my own story and I want it to be an art thing. And oops, mm-hmm. that means I need to learn how to draw all of these things. <laughs> this is a lot of work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I like that little meter that you just drew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't grab anything that had a proper switch, unfortunately. No. Oh. But you can try and <laughs> free hands that slightly. What about you? You can't tell the difference between which things I have something to look at and which things I don't. Yeah. I like those turny knobs. See, I like the dials where you can actually see the dial on it. What about you, Kenny? How did you know when you would be like into like design and you know, creative? Yeah, like, I. Very good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, well, I guess like so. In like high school, I was in like bands and stuff, and mm. so. Uh, a lot of or everything that we did was very DIY, right? So between before you know, it was like we made our own patches or we made our own buttons. Like uh, you know, we would have like our demos and we'd have to like make the packaging for them. Uh, and there was a friend of mine, uh, a little bit older than us, than like my group of friends, who was like the DIY, still is the DIY king. Uh, mm-hmm. And he was the first one who actually taught me how to like screen print, nice. like like he like showed and, and that and that like instantly blew my mind where I was just like oh like I can do this at home and make our own and make my own like you know designs come to life in, in you know in a physical form uh and that yeah just like light bulb you know it was like oh my gosh and then it was just from then on it was just my parents garage and just screen printing and burning screens and making so many mistakes and like reburning and cleaning you know um but yeah, and it was all ba- basically be- because like we wanted to make our own like band merch or whatever. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. It's very cool. I love Is that. something that you still do? Uh, which part? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose any of it. Yeah, bands, not so much. Although Tuesdays and Thursdays, catch me at 1030. <laughs> Excellent uh, plug. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, Screen printing, I definitely haven't burned burned my own screen in a while. Uh, and I, we talked about that doing it in, 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 at the East Palo Alto Library. Um, but it definitely takes a little bit more patience and, uh, and a good space to do so. But we've, you know, we've, we've, we've and you, I'm sure you guys as well, screen printed a bunch of stuff at our libraries, which, which is always really fun to do. Like, when I'm, like getting into like something that, that I'm very much into, like, you know, at home and, and I can see other people are getting into it too. I'm just like, yes, yes. Like trying to like pass on that torch, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's like that feeling of like, you know, when we think of like t-shirts or bags that have stuff printed on them, it's like, oh, we have to buy those, you know? But once you realize like, wait a minute, I can put my own design on this. Like that's when it's like, well, what else can I put on a t-shirt or a bag or something, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, or like you know, like, think it when like when when someone first showed me like a zine, right? And it's just like, mm-hmm. oh, you can make these. <laughs> like you know, mm-hmm. all you need is paper, so a stapler, and some pens, and yes. and a copy machine. <laughs> exactly. That's the easy yeah. part. Hardest part is putting the content in. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, this past year is actually the first time I got to use one of our um, screen printing kits. And like, I'd heard about it, but I'd never gotten to participate in the program. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time where I was actually there and present to see how it was run. I'm like, oh, 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 I get how this works as an activity now. (laughs) Because it always sounded like it would be way more complicated than it really is. So simple. Yeah. And like Debbie, like you mentioned, yeah, just like bring a t-shirt or bring a tote bag or bring some fabric and you know you can make your own you can can go nuts you can make your own designs yeah that's the best part of just DIY in general it's like oh wait I can do this I don't have to buy this I can make it myself I've been making a a few different like uh stencils uh Mm. lately like for spray paint uh Mm -hmm. it's been pretty fun that's all fairly easy to do 
Are you using like Manila folders or? Like I have I have uh, some cardstock. Oh, nice. Yeah, just like regular cardstock. Like the same cardstock I'm using to 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 spray paint on is the same cardstock that I'm using to make the stencils out of. It's just kind of just a thicker cardstock. Cool. Yeah, cutting out cutting out stencils is fun too. I always like doing that. That's an awesome saw blade, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I honestly kind of struggling with it. <laughs> I'm sort of taking advantage of the fact that this is going to be fairly sketchy so that it doesn't matter that these blades are not, in fact, correct. <laughs> this is one of the parts where it'd be useful to kind of like trace over and get the feeling. Because like mm. you look at these and it's like, oh, it's this shape. But mm. actually, it's like a line, line, in down yeah. 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 So the, the yeah. soft is in motion you know so it's just uh... yes <laughs> yeah i'll probably like add motion lines to be like and then it's blurred <laughs> <laughs> another one to chuck up on the uh, artist hex <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't drop just blur it <laughs> yep it's in motion <laughs> You wouldn't see what it looked like in real life. It was in motion. <laughs> you don't get to see what it looks like in art. <laughs> yeah, so each of these, I'm kind of skipping step past a lot of the steps that I normally sort of would chat about in terms of using reference work. But this is a lot of how I personally tend to do reference, where there's a certain element of the drawing, whether it's like a part of the design or maybe it's part of the pose, where I'm like, I don't really know how that's supposed to be. And so I'll find a picture that's not necessarily the picture that will reflect how it ends up being used. I sort of look at it, try and get a sense of what its basic shapes are, what like the basic relationship between those shapes are. And then I start to work to transform those based on my understanding of how well a circle facing this way is forward. Mm -hmm. So when you squash it, it looks like it's sideways and start to add those details into whatever drawing that I'm making to give it, to accomplish the thing that I'm trying to do. <laughs> Very nice. So this robot is not a real thing, but you can still use real life things and transform them to your will to make it into a super cool new unique thing that still has little elements of things that you'd recognize in real life, which in turn makes it feel a little more like, oh, hey, that's a thing that could exist. <laughs> Very cool. Now I'm going to clean up the wheel and then we should have a few minutes, Kenny, if you're ready to show off what you've been working very hard on. Almost, almost ready. <laughs> One minute. Okay. The, the final touches. Okay. Here You'll have mean. a minute. That's okay. I'm still cleaning this up too. I All could right. spend a lot longer cleaning this up than I will be for. It's like the particular. suspense, Kenny. The suspense. All right, is sorry. Yes. No. <laughs> it feels a little like a race. <laughs> it's like who can draw it out the longest? <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm gonna say this. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do? Uh, I mean, Debbie, I know you do your 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 comic books and your zines. Do you guys do like? cards or anything with your art you guys do like stuff that you give away or yeah I, I always like to do greeting cards oftentimes it's like yeah I don't I don't buy greeting cards it's DIY man <laughs> like because uh, you can always customize it to you know the person you're you're giving it to so yeah I always give my parents um homemade like drawings for like birthdays and greeting cards because I'm not very good at presents, but if you tell me to draw something, I can do that for you. Yeah. And see like my go-to present for friends as well, where I'm like, just tell me to draw something for you and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome to get something like that from someone. Mm -hmm. you know, like... It's one of a kind. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like that it lets me customize the jokes. To I've reflect never made... whatever's going on. Right. 
I've never made a card uh, like a, a card that I've made copies of, though. You know, a greeting mm -hmm. card. I've never done that, and that would be fun to do too. Especially, you know, in that DIY realm, like you can, you know, screen print it or you can just photocopy it or whatever, you know. Yeah. Now that could be very cool. I haven't ever done anything like that either because the cards that I do make are so like minimal and custom mm -hmm. where I never really think of designs that would work for more like beyond the one person I'm making right. it for. Same. Yeah. That'd be fun to work on something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Kenny, are you just about done? Yes. Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to call that my take on our robot friend Bebop. I like Bebop. <laughs> I do too. He's very cute. <laughs> and let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen so that we can see right. what you've been Here making. You Ooh! Ah! That's so cool. <laughs> Got the on oh, off switch fun. on the front. Nice. I'm not sure if that's uh, convenient or not, but uh, that's where his on off switch is. <laughs> I love that you added the antenna. Oh yeah, I got the oh, antenna. Yeah. Antenna. <laughs> it's very robot. Sure, he has the he has the saw, but all about peace. All about. Mm -hmm, peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got oh, some buttons, some that. switches. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I like how your tire turned out as well. I like the details oh, on it. I'm not gonna lie, total luck, total luck. <laughs> I thought the that happens. Was, that looks like a good tire. That it's a <laughs> nice tire. <laughs> solid. <laughs> no, that happens a lot too. <laughs> yeah. I've talked, I've talked many a time about how my go-to version of drawing things is just put lines until it looks right. And there's plenty of times where I'm like, does a line go here? <laughs> well, it doesn't look wrong. <laughs> Artist X. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, just keep drawing. At some point, you'll start to develop an eye of, at the very least, what you like. Like, oft sometimes, regardless of whether it's technically accurate, if you like it, that speaks volumes more. <laughs> like, people can often tell when you have fun drawing something. Like, your personality kind of sparks through. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because that's very fun. All three of us did a robot, and all three of us ended up with very different looking robots, despite using the same core base for making the robot. Yeah, well, we came up with the character together. Mm -hmm. I always like that. I always like collaborating with you guys for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, up next we have Ricardo with Open Labs. He's going to be talking about chemistry and explosions. Shout out, Ricardo. Shout out, Ricardo. What's up? Woo! Yeah. So stick around uh, for Open Labs in just a couple minutes. But thank you guys for joining us for How to Draw Anything. Thank you, Kenny, for joining us this week. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so much for me again. I appreciate it. Yeah. Be sure to catch him with his musical story times. They're a lot of fun every Tuesday and Thursday yes. at 1030. 1030. Yes. All right. And yeah, and otherwise, after Ricardo, we have a bunch of more we have a couple more story times so clear your afternoon schedule feel free to stick around with us and otherwise i hope you have a great rest of your day and stick around for ricardo in just a couple minutes bye everybody bye.